My name is Catherine Hollibird. I'm the author of the Angelina Ballerina books. This is my study. This is a lovely place in the house that's all mine where I can sit and look out on the sky and the trees and think about Angelina. And it's where I use my imagination and sit and write down stories and dream about things that could happen to Angelina and her friends' adventures and stories that I'm interested in and I hope you'll be interested in too. And the one I'm going to read to you today is a special story about friendship. And it's about Angelina and her very best friend. Her very best friend is named Alice. This is called Angelina and Alice. I hope you enjoy it. Angelina jumped for joy the day Alice came to school. Alice loved to dance and do gymnastics, and she was good at all the same things as Angelina. They quickly became close friends and were always together. At breaks, they skipped rope and did cartwheels round and round the playground. They loved to see who could hang upside down longest on the trapeze bar without wiggling, swing highest on the swings, or do the most somersaults in the air. Angelina was good at cartwheels, and she could even do the splits. But Alice could do a perfect handstand with her toes pointed straight in the air and never lose her balance. Angelina always fell over when she tried to do a handstand, which was embarrassing, especially on the playground. One day, Angelina fell right on her bottom, and the older children pointed at her, and they laughed. One of them giggled and said, Oh, look at Angelina Tumbledina. Another one whispered to Alice, and then something awful happened. Alice giggled too, and she ran off to play with the older children while Angelina sat behind the swings and cried. The next day was worse. All the children said, Angelina Tumbelina on the playground, and Angelina couldn't find Alice anywhere. Angelina couldn't concentrate at school and made lots of mistakes in her spelling. She couldn't eat her sandwiches at lunch either. And by the time the class was lining up for gym, Angelina felt so sick, she wished she could go home. Mr. Hopper, the gym teacher, blew his whistle for silence and said, You've all worked so hard at your gymnastics over the year that we are going to do a show for the village festival. Everyone needs to find a partner and start practicing now. Angelina looked at the floor. Who could she ask? She was afraid nobody would be her partner. A big tear rolled down her nose. Just then, she felt a tap on her shoulder. It was Alice. Will you be my partner, please? Alice asked. All that afternoon, Angelina and Alice worked on handstands in the gymnasium. Just keep your head down and line up your tail with the tip of your nose, Alice said patiently. That always helps me to stay up straight longer. Alice was a good teacher and soon Angelina could do a handstand without falling at all. Mr. Hopper taught them how to swing in a beautiful circle over the bar and how to actually fly through the air and land neatly balanced on the mat. He taught them to work with the rings and on the bars and to do rhythmic gymnastics with colored ribbons. Finally, Mr. Hopper showed them a terrific balancing trick they could do for the show. The day of the village festival was bright and beautiful. The, the gymnastics class did a wonderful display at the village festival with high jumps, back flips, and balancing on the bars. When Angelina and Alice did their balancing act together, even the older children were impressed. Wow, they said, how did you learn to do those amazing tricks? 
After the show, Mr. Hopper smiled and said, that was really good teamwork. Alice and Angelina grinned back. That's because we're such good friends, they said. The end. Thank you for listening. It's wonderful that Angelina and Alice were able to patch up their friendship, wasn't it? And that's so important because friends are so special, aren't they? So I hope you and your friends look after each other and have lots of fun together. Bye.